Hello everybody, Bobo Swaggins here, and today I decided to do something a little different. Instead of a normal Isaac video, I have decided to do a tier list, mostly because it came to my mind, and I feel like I kind of put enough time into Isaac now that I've done the normal characters at least multiple times in a row now to completion. So I'm going to be ranking the normal characters today, as you can see on the title, and tainted characters, ignore them. They, they're, they're, they're not there. They're not there, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I feel like this will be rather easy to rank because... The normal characters aren't exactly very different from each other, at least most of them. There's a couple bad apples, but yeah, I mean, we're just going to hop right in and see what they're doing. I do have their stats and their unlocks on the right side of my screen here that you can't see, but they're there. They're there. They're on the screen. Um, I'll have them pop up in the post edit here. Basically, I'm going to kind of rank them overall on kind of what they do, what they start with and what they unlock. So this is just like a general, where are they at on the tier list of do I even want to play this character? Because not all of you are going to obviously go for Dead God. So we're starting off with Isaac. Isaac is obviously one of the best characters in the game. He starts with the D6. He's got base damage. You know, he's kind of the base level of stats. He's what you would consider tolerable when it comes to stats. He starts with a bomb. And his unlocks are actually half decent. I mean, he's got Mom's Knife, Missing Poster, which is good for a revive. Uh, D Infinity. Options isn't really that good. Farting Baby is a decent, I guess, familiar to have. D20 is really good. Overall, I'd say his unlocks are on the probably high B tier. But the character itself, given he starts with D6 and his stats are actually half decent, he's obviously going in the A tier. I think A tier is fair. Everybody kind of goes to Isaac and he says he's the absolute best because he can rig the game. But... At the end of the day, you get you still get screwed by RNG. I mean, he's really good, and he's like A plus tier, but he's not quite S tier. There's a character who probably belongs in there way more than Isaac. And we'll get to him. Um, so next up is Maggie. Maggie is 4 HP, which is really good in Repentance, by the way, because taking deals is a lot more important, I guess you should say. Uh, she starts with a full health pill. She has... Uh, 3.5 damage. Her tier rate is the same, but her... What what is she missing? Speed. She's missing speed. That's what it was. I knew she was missing something compared to Isaac, but she starts with Yumheart. She's just the tank of Isaac. She's the tank. She's got the Maggie's bow tie, which is the item that basically gives you double healing from healing items or just healing in general. Uh, the relic, which is really good. Maggie's cross is really good. Celtic cross eh, sensor. Pretty powerful. With a balance, some people don't like with a balance. I think it's pretty damn good. Purity, I always like purity. Eucharist is an S tier item. I mean, guaranteed angel deals. It's like goat head, but in my opinion, even better because listen, angel deals are better than devil deals, especially in repentance. It's not like the old days. But yeah, so that would put Maggie. It's kind of tough, because speed is super important early on, but based on her unlocks, I don't know. That's tough. I mean, she's got really good unlocks, and she is tanky, and I think that that makes her really valuable, but speed is so important, especially really especially early on. I mean, I feel like if she had more damage, she would be good. She would actually be really good, but I'm going to put her in like B, but really high B. Like, imagine that's, like, B-plus here. I might shift around the rankings a little bit as we get a little deeper here. So, we're, up next is Kane. Now, Kane, I actually really like playing as Kane. Kane starts with Lucky Foot. He's got 4.2 damage. 4.2? 4. 4. Let's see. 4.7. Oh, no, it's a multiplier. Sorry. So, it's about 4.2. I was going off what I remembered in game. So, 4.2... His range is smaller than normal, but he has more speed. I think those are pretty good stats overall. He starts with a key, and he also starts with Paperclip. Paperclip is obviously very good because being able to open golden chests for free, extremely valuable. Now, his unlocks are not so valuable. <laughs> uh, he does unlock Guppy's Eye, which is an S-tier item, by the way. But it really past that, he's got Sack of Sacks. He's got the Silver Dollar. D10, or sorry, D12, not D10. He's got Kane's Other Eye, I think. Is that Kane's Other Eye? I'm going to go with it's Kane's Other Eye. I'm just going based off it, but, you know, 
uh, uh, it's not really the greatest in the world, but I don't know. The rank him, he does have evil eye. Evil eye is pretty good. I mean, evil eye. Okay, you gotta imagine how evil eye works. Evil eye fires out your own tier effects and its damage. It's it's pretty damn good, but the problem is it shoots out. So unlike like Incubus, for example, which is right next to you at all times, Kane's eye, well, Kane's, uh, sorry, Evil Eye, having a brain fart there. Evil Eye, you fire it out, and Evil Eye goes out, and you probably maybe get a couple hits in before it's gone. I don't know if that's really that good. Pound for a Flesh is a good item as well. I think situationally it's a niche item. I, I'd put it like... C plus tier or low B tier, just based on that. But making judging Kane off this, I want to put him in A tier because he is one of my favorite characters. But really looking at it objectively, his damage is really good. His starting stats are really good, and he starts with Lucky Foot and Paperclip. It's like, do I put him above Maggie? Maggie's unlocks are really fucking good, though. They're really, really good. Maggie's unlocks. If we're just going off unlocks, I think Maggie's better, but Kane has other stats. I'm going to leave them on the same, so they're like high B tier, both of them. Both of them are about the same. At least that's what I think. Now, Judas, Judas is immediately just, I'm just going to plop him in A tier, but let's understand why I think Judas is so good. Judas has one HP, which is really bad, and a lot of new players struggle with this, but he's a damage beast. I mean, he is an absolute damage beast. You start with Book of Belial, you have a... Huge, huge damage start. And his unlocks are Judas's Tongue, which is actually not a bad trinket, by the way. That is a very good trinket. And if you don't have a trinket, you should probably pick it up. Because taking a double deal for one heart, pretty good. Curved Horn, also an S-tier trinket, plus two damage straight up, is extremely valuable. Eye of Belial. Now, I don't really like Eye of Belial, especially because it's a two-heart deal. But it is a very strong item. Being able to pierce and also home after the pierce is very strong. Redemption is another unlock he has. Redemption is extremely powerful. And I'd say the only real downside to unlocking redemption is it will take over the angel deal item that spawns if you take a devil deal. from a, like So you're doing the sacrifice deal and you get your angel item. But it's going to be redemption if you took a devil deal in the past. So it ends up kind of being a hindrance because otherwise before you grab redemption i'm pretty sure it just spawns a normal angel item we'll see in dead god 2 for sure i'm kind of kind of kind of just making that one up but i'm pretty sure that's the case but judas is really good is he as good as isaac is he as good as isaac i don't think so i don't think so isaac is simply just too versatile if he didn't have the HP problem, he would be like S tier. So he would immediately skip over Isaac. But since he has the HP problem, he sits under Isaac. He's the damage king of the game, though. Almost. Almost, I would say. I'm going to leave him where he is. He's like middle A tier. He's middle A tier for sure. He's really good. He's really good. But do I recommend him for new players? Probably not. Get some of the da dodging down, and he will absolutely just, he, he wins the game. I mean, you will just fly through the game with him. You'll have all his marks done in no time. So next up is Blue Baby. Now, Blue Baby, I hate this guy. I hate this guy with a passion. So there might be some bias, <laughs> but there is reason for the bias. So he starts with a little bit more damage. I think, what is it, like 3.8 or something like that? It's not a lot. It's not a lot, and it doesn't make up for this problem that he has. He starts with three soul hearts. He cannot get red HP. So whenever he picks up a health up item, he gets a soul heart. Now his birthright does increase that effect and you can get two soul hearts out of an HP up. That's honestly a really shitty birthright effect as well. So yeah. Now he starts with the poop, which is just a complete mockery of an active item. I mean, you're starting with that and it's just garbage. So... First up on what he unlocks, he unlocks Blue Baby's only friend, which is just garbage. I mean, that's just straight up, it's ass. I It's ass. I mean, why would you want that? I see that in an item room, I'm mad because I'm like, ah, that could have been something good. Next up, he unlocks Forget Me Now. Forget Me Now is a solid A tier item. 
Now, it's, are you going to use it every time you see it? Probably not, but when you can use it, it's extremely valuable for getting more items. And the next up on the item he unlocks is D6. Now, D6 is really good, and that's what I recommend you just go for if you're going to play Boo Baby. You don't have to play him to completion, but just get D6 for Isaac so he can start with D6. Now, he also unlocks, well, he unlocks... I guess fate which is a good item fate gives you flight i think it also gives you an eternal heart i think so that's a pretty good item i'm gonna say it's a just on the flight alone because flight's pretty damn good i see that in a i think you get it from chess you can get it from golden chess right it's pretty good it's pretty fucking good he also unlocks the uh, blue baby soul which is a very bad trinket it's a very bad trinket i only pick it up when i can't pick up anything else uh he also unlocks what, what's that it's the black poop item. Like, it's the trinket. It makes it so you can get dark cards from poops. It's not very good. Um, Fate's Reward is also another unlock. He's got a lot of these, like, weird assist trinkets where it's, like, a little familiar that comes out. Fate's Reward isn't the worst, but it's also a trinket, so it's not that good. It's a trinket, right? I'm pretty sure it's a trinket. He also has Crack Dice. You know what? I skipped over Crack Dice. Crack Dice isn't bad. Situationally, I have used it. Crack Dice is really powerful. Ah, this is tough. He unlocks Montezuma's Revenge. Does he? I guess he does. I <laughs> I just got done playing like six hours of <laughs> Ultra Hard. So I had quite a corruption of my run because it kept popping up. I don't like Montezuma's Revenge. Maybe I'm becoming really biased towards him right now. But listen, Blue Baby, Blue Baby, I'm going to put you in the D tier. Mostly because you're just dookie. You're No, it's not the D tier. It's the poopy dog water. Poopy dog water. So poopy dog water is down there. We just leave it down there. That's that's blue babies here. Okay. If we need like another D tier, we'll just like we'll push him down. We'll just push him down. Okay. Push him down. We don't have to worry about it. Eve is the next character up. Eve is a weird one because Eve's whole playstyle revolves around making yourself low health because she starts with horror babylon this one has dead bird there's no reason to use that dead bird's useless it's a quality zero for a reason who cares it's dead bird it's not even on you don't even it's not a factor it's not a factor we don't even consider blue, dead birds no i don't even know why that item's in the game it sucks but she also starts with razor blade which you have to unlock razor blade is not a very good item in my opinion it does not really make up for the HP you use. But in Eve's case, it's really good for getting yourself into the Horror Babylon state immediately. <sighs> I think that puts her... I don't know. The re It's tough. So, she is really good in terms of damage, but she's constantly at risk. Her tainted character also has this problem. Constantly at risk of dying. Because you have to stay at low health. But her unlocks... She has some good unlocks. I mean, they're not that crazy, but they're pretty damn good overall. So first and foremost, Eve's Mascara. That's a two times damage multiplier. Sure, it screws your shot speed up. Okay. But like two times damage multiplier, you put that on the right item. You get down like Epic Fetus. Bro, you're going to one shot just damn near about anything. She also unlocks Razor. Again, situationally, it really only works on Eve. Sacrificial Dagger. It used to be a better item before Repentance, but after Repentance, it got nerfed quite a bit. And I think it turns faster now as well. So, it's a good item still. Just like, I don't know, it's like C plus here. It's just not that exciting to see, especially given it's a devil deal. Athame, that's a pretty good item. I like it. It always pops off. When you have a lot of enemies on screen, it can suddenly turn into zero enemies on screen. That's how the item works. Now, Birdcage is another unlock. I don't know. Birdcage is... It's niche. It's very niche. It's a very weird item. I don't know. I don't know. Dull Razor's in there as well. Dull Razor's good for activating on hit effects. It's kind of niche again. It's like a C tier item. When it works, it's like an A plus tier item. Most of the time, it's not going to work. So I feel like it's not that good of an unlock. Crack Door is another unlock she gets. It's really useful, actually. A lot of times, you're just going to pick it up and get passive use out of it. it's a solid b tier item i mean you can't go wrong with it i think i'm gonna stick her in like high c tier so she's gonna sit right there high c tier you belong there i think that's fair that's that's really fair so next up is samson 
I like Samson. To be honest, I really like Samson. He's maybe not the most exciting character. Three hearts. Three hearts. Okay. I mean, his tier rate is a little bit lower than the others, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. He has a more shot speed, but he makes up for it by having Child's Heart, which is going to spawn more hearts for you. He also has Bloody Lust. Bloody Lust makes it so you get more damage every time you get hit. So he's kind of... His build, by default, synergizes with itself kind of nicely. On his own, he's not a bad character. You don't have to bring yourself down to, like, crippling levels like Eve. So he's definitely better than Eve. But preliminary, I'm going to guess he's probably, like, B-. minus. That's where I'm kind of feeling with him. But let's see his unlock. So he's got Samson Shane, obviously. Not a good unlock. It's, I mean, it's not completely useless, but it's like a D-tier item. I see it. I'm just upset. <laughs> Blood Rites is garbage. It's absolutely useless. Bloody Lust is the unlock as well. It's a good item. You see it, you, you know, you're like, okay, well now I just, I get a little bit of a benefit for being hit, for being a bad player. Samson's Lock isn't a crazy trinket. It's, yeah, it's mediocre. It's mid. Blood Penny, very good trinket. That's actually a really, really good trinket. Spawny Hearts, when you pick up money, that's powerful. Ooh, Lusty Blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lusty Blood. So the opposite of Bloody Lust. Now when you kill things, you get damage for the room. That's really powerful, by the way. It's really easy to always max out your damage, too. Stem Cell, Mid Trinket. It's kind of good. And situationally, it helps you. Blind Rage? I don't know. There's, like, niche cases I've seen for using it. But, like, it gives you more invulnerability frames. And it, it's just not that good, right? It's just not that good. Bloody Crown is another trinket he unlocks. That's basically devil deals take over your treasure items. Can't be good. I think it's okay. It's like a C plus here. Bloody Gust. I'd say that's like a... I, it's either a high C tier or a low B tier item. It's really good, but you have to take damage. I guess it's okay. You know what? I'm gonna... It's like middle B tier. It's a solid middle B tier item. It's fine. I think it's like a tier rate up and a range up. I think, and a speed up, I think. I think so. It's something like that. It's not bad. I see it. I'm like, I'm not like, whoa, Paw, good item. But if, like, you had to ask me, like, is it a good item or a bad item? I'd just be like, I, I don't know. It's not great. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not, I, you know, it's like it's in the middle, okay? It's in the middle. It's so generic, I forget about it sometimes. <laughs> Uh, past that, there's nothing really to mention in terms of his other items and trinkets he unlocks. I think that puts him in, like, just because he's kind of half decent, low B tier. A lot of them, you know, a lot of normal characters you can't go wrong with. They're not bad, per se. They're just not bad. Now, Azazel. He's the S tier character. He's the S tier character. He is the GOAT. He's not even S tier. He is the GOAT of all time. And yes, I know. I know, you don't have to type what you're about to type. I know what you're about to type. But he's the GOAT of all time. So, why is he the GOAT of all time? Listen, some people like to go, Oh, Azazel sucks because he has short range beams. You're, you're bad. You're bad. Listen, I get hit. I get hit a lot. And I still think Azazel's the best. Azazel starts with three dark hearts, which is a problem because, you know, dark hearts, obviously, you can't refill them with HP. You gotta fucking get... More soul hearts, or you gotta get heart containers. But he can get heart containers. He's not like Blue Baby. He can get heart containers. He's got a lot of damage. That short range brimstone is brimstone damage. It's just short range. The only real problem with it is it doesn't synergize with a lot of stuff, but you come to realize that doesn't really fucking matter. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Now, he's got flight by default as well, which is obviously just an S tier power. If something gives you flight, it's really fucking good. Now, maybe not if it's like an angel item and that's all it does, like the dove. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. He starts with a full card as well, which is really good for popping into the curse room real quick and then full carding out. That's basically the main priority I use it for. <laughs> now, his unlocks. He unlocks, uh, ooh, he unlocks nail, which is an okay item. It used to be better before repentance, I feel. He also unlocks demon's tail. It sucks. I don't pick it up. It's just bad. It's gonna... It, it kind of fucks things up. It has a lot of... It, it nerfs a lot of other items that spawn HP. Because it replaces I, it replaces HP with dark cards, but it nerfs some items because some items work around Demon's Tail for some reason. 
Just unlock Satanic Bible. Satanic Bible. Situationally, not bad. But it does replace your boss item with a devil deal. Which, eh, it's not that great. It's not that great. It's not that great. He also unlocks Demon Baby. Demon Baby's not a bad baby. It's actually pretty good. You know what? He auto-targets. Does 3.5 damage, I think. Not the craziest, but it works. Auto-target. You don't have to worry about it. Abaddon. S tier item. S tier item. Not even a question. And, you know, maybe you might go Abaddon's a little bad because it gets rid of your HP and turns it into dark hearts. But you get so many dark hearts, it doesn't fucking matter. Maybe situation I don't take it because we don't we don't have the fucking budget for it, okay? We don't have the HP budget for that. But he also unlocks Lilith, apparently. Okay, he unlocks Lilith. I couldn't remember the unlock for that, but sure. So, <laughs> he unlocks a character, so that's pretty important as well. He unlocks Maw of the Void. Maw of the Void used to be better. Not as good of an item anymore. Maw of the Void used to spawn dark hearts when you were killing enemies with the Maw of the Void. It was like the Athame hit, but Maw of the Void, you charge it up. It's a little boom, you know. Now, he also has Devil or Devil's Crown, Little Abaddon, which is just, it's Maw of the Void, but smaller. Dark Prince's Crown, which is not a very good item, by the way. You have to be one heart. Is it one heart or zero hearts? It's something like that, but it's just a tier rate range and speed, I think. It sucks. It's not worth the devil deal, and you have to be low health. But he also unlocks... Oh, he unlocks... <laughs> I thought that was Incubus or Succubus. No, it's a, it's a co-op baby. It's Sucky Baby. What the fuck? <laughs> There's so many co-op babies in the game. Why'd you do that, Afterbirth? Okay, well, Azazel's an S tier item. He's the GOAT. He's the absolute GOAT of the normal characters. Is there a character maybe comparable to him? Yes. Maybe two, actually. Maybe two that are comparable to him. But on in terms of the normal characters, I don't think anybody comes that close. I mean, he is far and above the easiest character in the game. You will have an easy time even if you are new. Yeah, you might get hit. You have flight. It's a good learning experience, okay? You, you're going to have an easy time. <laughs> Next up is Lazarus. Well, Lazarus is actually really good. I would almost say they're A tier. I mean, they're A tier, right? You get a revive every four. You lose an HP for doing it, like a whole heart container. Pretty good, though. I mean, he starts with a pill as well. Starts with anemic, which is useless. It's not even a factor. Anemic is, like, useless. I, I don't care about it. it. It doesn't do much. Um, What's this on? Oh... Ooh, uh, first unlock is missing though. Missing no sucks. Missing no is garbage. I hate seeing it, and it's 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 kind of ruined maybe like glitch crown runs because it pops up right after an item I have to take, and there's a risk I might accidentally pick up missing no as well, and bam, builds ruined. But that's just skill issue. Missing no does suck though. I don't recommend it. Pandora's box is an unlock. Not a bad item. It's, it's not like the craziest. You do have to buy it from the shop. But it's not bad. Unlocks key bums. Key bums uh, can be situationally good if you have excess keys. Just like any of the bums. I mean, any of the bums, you have excess of anything. It's good. Empty vessel is a very good item. That gives you flight when you are... What is it? Half heart or a heart? Half heart or a heart? And... Or is it just zero hearts? I don't know. It's one of the two. Basically, low HP. You get an invulnerability like every 40 seconds. It's like Polaroid. And you get flight for the room. It's pretty good. I mean, it's a pretty good item. It helps you when you're low. Which is exactly kind of what you need it for. Compound Fractures. Compound Fractures is a really good item. Uh, it unlocks Tiny Toma. Tiny Toma is not... I guess it's not bad. It's not bad. It's an okay item. I'd say it's like B tier. Unlocks Astral Projection, which... Personally, I don't have that much experience with. But it's kind of like a... It's like super hot, you know, like you get hit and then everything's in stop motion and then you move around really fast. It, it's a weird item. I don't know. I, I feel like I can't really say, rank that item, but overall, I'd say Lazarus just out of utility. Three hearts, base damage. Can't go too wrong with it. You can't you can't really go too wrong with it. I feel like he's. Ugh, is he low A tier? Is he low A tier? Hmm. No, A tier special. I'd say he sits under Kane and Maggie. 
He's got a lot of utility though. Eden. Eden's like a solid like B tier. I mean, it's not even a question. Uh, B Eden. Eden is random. I mean, that's the problem. Eden's random. You can't really judge this character. He can be really bad. He can be really, really good. Overall, I'd say... Eh, but the unlocks, what, what are the unlocks? He unlocks undefined, very good item, especially for getting into I Am Air Rooms. Book of Secrets, not the craziest item in the world, but it is very good. Blank card is obviously a very good item. It's a very, very good item. Mystery Sack, don't care. It, 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 it kind of fucks up your secret room sometimes. Mysterious Paper, very good for Tainted Lost, I, I recommend. GB Bug, situationally can be interesting, but... Overall, just a lackluster item. Metronome? Mm -mm. Don't like that. Don't like that item at all. Eden's Blessing? It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a tears up. Gives you an item in the next run. It's not bad. I like it. Eden's Soul? I feel like I always have problems using this item. Because, one, it's an active item. And you gotta take it with you. And then it doesn't start with charges. So... I feel like a lot of times I can't take it because I already have an active item, but it's still good. It spawns items for you. So, I mean, you can't go too wrong with it. Everything jar, it's good. It's pretty damn good. You can't go too wrong with it as well. Uh, M, the trinket, you know, it rerolls your active item when you use the active item. Situationally, not bad. I like it. It's pretty decent. I'm going to sit him in B tier. I think his unlocks kind of match him as well. They're just kind of middle of the road. So he's gonna sit. He's gonna sit right here. You know what? I'm gonna leave him where I put him. It's not bad. I like that. The loss. Now, this is gonna be controversial because some of you don't like the loss. I think the lost is pretty damn good. I think he's pretty damn good. So he's a one hit, but he has holy mantle every room. So he has holy mantle on him, basically. I, that that's that's what it works. I mean, that's the works. Um holy mantle. But he's a one hit. It's like Tainted Loss, but significantly better. He can get revive items, and he can get, you know, the whole nine yards. He's pretty damn good. I'm going to stick him here preemptively. You may disagree. It is my opinion. But he has flight. He has base damage. But he has spectral tears, and he starts with eternal D6. Kind of, a, it's like D6, but a little worse. <laughs> a little worse. But he also starts with Holy Mantle pretty good i mean so long as you only are on average getting hit once per room the hp problem isn't a problem and you're getting a reroll item anyway sure there's a risk it deletes the item but eh i like crooked penny so you know maybe that's why i like him so much now his unlocks he unlocks d100 ah, i feel like when i was more of a baby isaac player i like d100 but it's uh you don't see it enough. You don't see it enough. It's rare. I I don't I don't know. It's it's just like it's it's fun. It's fun to reroll sometimes, but it's like missing though, but more controlled. It's not bad. It's just RNG. It's it's a middle of the road item. Now he also unlocks the mind, body, and soul. You know how that goes. They're very good items. All of them individually have their uses. Maybe the body isn't useful on him, but it is useful on other characters. Soul is obviously an S tier item. Mind is like a solid B plus tier item. It's a mapping effect. And he unlocks Zodiac. Ooh, he unlocks Dad's coin. Ew. You know, the thing that gives you a range up and a lucky penny. No, I don't like that. It's it's kind of, it fucks up Bob's. You get that from a boss item and I'm like, ew, really? Thanks for nothing, game. Uh, so he also unlocks Warm Protector. Not a bad item. I like him. Holy cards, which are very good for obvious reasons. And they're really useful for Tainted Lost. Lost Soul, it's a good item, but he always dies. I mean, he's like a, when he works, he's like an S tier item. When he does it, he's like a D tier item. He dies too easy. But then he also unlocks Hungry Souls, which are those Devil Deal items that you see. Uh, it's a little red ghost. Uh, you kill enemies, the little red ghost can appear. It's like the ghost bomb effect. They charge after enemy, they do contact damage, and they explode. It's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. Maybe I don't take it enough, but it is pretty good. And then the big Chungus himself un also unlocks Godhead. Do I need to say anything else? It's an S tier item. It's a, it's an S tier item. We all know what Godhead is. With his unlocks in mind, and the fact that I do like him, he's like a solid low A tier item. You know, he's a low A tier character. You can't go too wrong with him. It's going to be like a pretty easy win when you select him. I feel like that's the case. Lilith. Okay, so Lilith is a controversial one. I feel like some people struggle with Lilith and some people don't. Lilith is going to be really, really good, like almost every run. 
So she starts with the blindfold. So she can't shoot herself, but she starts with Incubus. Incubus is obviously a very good item. Now she also starts with Box of Friends, which duplicates familiars, meaning you at will can duplicate your Incubus and get double damage. It's very good. I mean, I don't, it's like, I feel like the people, I feel like people have problems with like aiming with him, but it's not that hard to aim with him. He's, he's like right behind you. Overall, I'd say like in terms of stats, I mean, yeah, maybe it's a little like when you're first playing her, maybe it's a little disorienting to shoot with Incubus, but you get used to it. It's fine. Also starts with Cambian Conception. I almost forgot. That's a good item. Uh, you take damage. It's like 15 hits and then 30 hits or something. You get a new permanent familiar. It can be really fucking good. And I think you can, you can spawn another Incubus, which obviously then if you hit box of friends, you got four Incubuses, which are pretty good. Incubus, you know, copies your tier effects. So tier effects and damage. So it's just you, but a, another body. So that'd be like four times your damage. That's pretty damn good. Especially when you have stuff like Brimstone. It's pretty good. So she also unlocks Immaculate Conception, which is the holy version of Cambian Conception. Which isn't as good because I feel like healing's a lot harder than taking damage. <laughs> which is weird to say. Uh, so it's not bad. It's just I feel like the roster of Angel Familiars is worse. But when you get the good ones, you get the good ones. Now, she also unlocks Serpent's Kiss. I, it's okay. It's okay. It's a poison item. It's one of many. <laughs> it's one of many. Also unlocks Rune Bag, which I do like. Rune Bag's interesting. I just wish it didn't fucking take up the secret room slot most of the time. Succubus, obviously a really good item, especially if you can dupe it. If you can dupe Succubus, it's an easy win. It's a game break kind of item. She also unlocks Cambian Conception, which is her item, so makes sense. Does exactly what I said it did earlier. Unlocks Duality. Duality is an S tier item. Lets you choose between an angel deal and a devil deal whenever you get a devil deal. Also, I guess an angel deal. I mean, it doesn't matter. You know, when you get one or the other, you can pick between the two. It's pretty good. You guys unlocks Incubus, which is her item, so it makes sense. Incubus is a very S tier item. Quality 4. Euthanasia. It's a quality 3. It's very good, in my opinion, and I like seeing it because I like insta-killing enemies, and it has a like little kind of vasculitis effect, you know, it shoots out tears when you kill the enemy. Pretty good. She also unlocks Blood Puppy. Blood Puppy is not a good item, in my opinion. It's just too many risks involved with taking that item, so it ends up being kind of bad. She also unlocks C-Section. So, yes, her unlocks are so good that it's probably going to carry her to A-tier on that, on her own. I mean... Her, I mean, her unlocks are just completely stacked. There's only other, there's one other character that is this stacked. And it's probably going to end up being Jacob and Esau. But yeah, her unlocks are completely one-sided. That's about it on terms of the relevant unlocks. I'm going to stick her above Lost. I'm going to stick her above Lost. I think where she's sitting right there is fine. Her unlocks carry her to that position, but otherwise, I think she still sits in A tier because she's quite good. I mean, Box of Friends is not an item to sleep on. You get some battery items, which is just involved. You just check the fucking shop. Check the shop. Get battery items. Car battery, 9 volt, the whole 9 yards, the battery, anything. And you can pop that multiple times, and you will absolutely go crazy. Keeper. 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 Okay, well, he used to be worse. He used to be worse before Repentance. He still sucks. What can I say? Uh, he gets three hearts now, technically. Uh, he also starts with Wood and Nickel. Um, his, I, the Devil deals cost money, right? I think they do. Yeah, they cost money now. Um, I completely phased out playing him, mostly because I hate this character. He sucks. You know what? He's going in the Poopy Dog Water tier. Do I put him below Blue Baby? Do you go boo boo baby? Yes. Yes, you do. I hate you. I hate both of those characters equally, to be honest. <laughs> but let's go over his unlocks real quick, because he's got a couple of things that are worth mentioning. So he unlocks... <laughs> okay, first and foremost, he unlocks Sticky Nickels. It sucks. Sticky Nickels are ass. Why are they in the game, Edmund? That's just fucking stupid. 
He also unlocks store key. With, oh, well, he, I guess, does he unlock store key or does he just hold it from that? I don't know. I can't tell. He holds store key at least. He also unlocks wooden nickel, I think. I can't tell. He unlocks things for himself and then he holds them. So I, I think that's how it's working. Either way, let's go because just to give him the benefit because I already think he's poopy dog water. Let's say he unlocks those, okay? <laughs> but most of the stuff he's unlocking is just to buff himself because he is bad. He's so bad. He also unlocks karma. Dude, I never even see this item. I'm going to be honest. What the fuck? I never see this item. It's a trinket, right? Uh, I, I genuinely can't even remember what it does. I, I never see it. I haven't seen it in like 100 runs. What the fuck? <laughs> Deep Pockets is good. It's like a solid high B tier item. A, may, maybe low A. It's pretty damn good. It lets you hold up 990 on coins. Obviously really good with items that synergize with money. Like money equals power. He also unlocks uh, Rib of Greed. The, the, the bone items are interesting, but I think really they're not that great. A lot of the times, I mean, some of the, they're, they're situationally okay. I, I just maybe like put them middle of the road. They're very average items. Unlocks Eye of Greed, which is really powerful. It's a good item. So I'd say A tier. He also unlocks Crooked Penny. It's an A tier item. It's not S tier as much as I hype it up. It does have its cons and its cons do drag it down to A tier. Unlocks Keeper's Sack. Keeper's Sack is very decent. Decent. I would say it's high B tier. It's a very good item. I like picking it up. A lot of the times. Keeper's box, which is can spawn a shop item anywhere you choose, which is not really good. It's, I mean, you still have to spend money for the item. It's not, it's not very good. <laughs> also unlocks uh, some co-op babies. And the co-op babies, who cares? <laughs> I, I don't keep in mind of these co-op babies. There's like 800 of them. There's like way too many co-op babies. And none. Of, a lot of them don't do anything special. So yeah, he sits in poopy dog water mostly because he sucks to play. His tainted variant is a complete other story. He is a god among men. <laughs> Up next is Apollyon. Oh, I love this character because he is so average. He's so average. He's going to be sitting in B tier almost for sure. But let's see what he does. He starts with two hearts. Normal damage, normal range, normal speed, normal everything. You know, just Isaac stats, right? I always say this too when I'm playing him. He has normal Isaac stats. But he starts with what Edmund considers as a quality four, the Void. Void is like a quality two. It's not very good. I mean, situationally, it can be goaded, but it was nerfed in Repentance. And yeah, it has not recovered since then. <laughs> it has not recovered since then at all. He also unlocks Smelter. Smelter's pretty good. I like it. He also unlocks the Locust, which are good trinkets. I like them situationally. I won't hold on to them for the entire run for the most part, but they are good. Also unlocks, uh, what is that called again? It's the uh, it's the brown nugget. That's right. It spawns like a papa fly. It's not very good. It's a papa fly that holds in place. Also unlocks black rune. Black rune is not good. I don't I don't ever use that. He also unlocks hushy. He unlocks hushy. I didn't even realize that. Hushy sucks. It's well, it's actually the worst item in the game. I mean, it's the worst item in the game. It's fucking useless. It can block projectiles. You can say all you want. You can say all you want. I will die on this hill. Hushy sucks. Hushy is complete dog water. I don't care. Hushy is not a good item. He also unlocks the void, obviously. And he also unlocks a little portal, which I'm still mad about from a run we just had recently in greed mode. A uh, little portal, I feel like I don't understand it enough, but it teleports you to another room. It absorbs consumables. I, I don't know. Worm friend, it's a decent item. It's a quality three, the game thinks. I think it's quality two. It holds enemies in place. It's not that good. I guess it's fine to pick up though. I wouldn't be against it. Apollyon, because of how average you are and how kind of mid your unlocks are, I'm putting you under Eden very slightly. You're like B minus. You're like B minus. You're definitely like B minus. Forgotten? Okay, so I dislike the Forgotten, but credit where credit is due, he does do a lot of damage. So, he can turn into the Soul, which, you know, it's nice to have. Basically, you're never going to have an issue where you can't reach an item. And he can also open Mimic Chests and stuff like that for free with by hitting him with the club. Forgotten and Lost Soul are a really powerful duo. I just suck with them. I don't like the Bone Heart shenanigans, okay? I think that does kind of cripple him in a way, and it might drag him down from A tier. But let me think about it. I'm not going to put him anywhere yet. Let's see his unlocks. 
So he's got divorce papers. It's a good item. It spawns mysterious uh, paper for you as well, which is really good. Also unlocks uh, the marrow item, which is not a good item. I don't like it. It gives you a bone heart, a bone heart, and then drops like three hearts. It's, it's I don't know. It sucks. Uh, unlocks pointy rib, which uh, it's okay. It's fine. It does like, what, six times your damage? It's okay. Slipped rib, which isn't that crazy. It blocks projectiles. It It's not very good. I think it deflects them too, but eh. Brittle bones. I don't like brittle bones. Some of you like brittle bones, but brittle bones sucks because it turns all your hearts into bone hearts and you have no HP in them. Oh, but if you break them, then you get tears. Okay, but I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I have six hits left until I die. Jawbone. It's kind of like the boomerang. It can grab items for you. <laughs> That's about it. I, it doesn't do enough damage for me to really consider it relevant. Finger bone and uh, dad's ring. I feel like I don't see them enough to care. Do I care about them? I I mean, they're not relevant enough. He unlocks hollowed poop too. Or, you know, hollowed ground. Sorry. it's That's the specific name. But, you know, the, the, the like blue poop increases your stats big time, but it breaks like a fucking piece of glass. It's okay. If you can get it to work, hollowed ground is really good. But most of the time it's going to break and it's going to be useless. Book of the Dead. It's a good item, in my opinion. Maybe, like, B plus tier. I just wish you could pop it more often. It's It tosses too many charges. He also unlocks Bone Spears, which, you know, create the little projectiles off of the enemy, and, you know, they block stuff, and they do damage. I mean, it's okay. It's a solid, like, maybe B minus tier item. It's not that crazy. Also unlocks Spirit Shackles, which give you a chance to... I think it's, it's like a saving grace, so, like, when you die... You come back on a one hit as like the lost soul, but you're chained to your body. And if you can kill all the enemies in the room, you respawn. I think that's how it works. And it works once per room or I think, or maybe it's to, maybe it's not kill all the enemies. Maybe it's just kill an enemy. Can't remember. Either way, it's a good item. It's a good item. It's like an A tier item. I think that puts them like, I think it edges them into the A minus tier, to be honest, which is really sad because Eve is still sitting there all alone, but at least she's better than the poopy dog water tier. Bethany. Okay, Bethany is like a high A tier item. Just, I mean, sorry, not an item. Uh, <laughs> an A tier character right off the bat. Bethany can break the game really easily. Like, really fucking easily. She is, um, you know, starts a book of virtues and gives you an angel deal as your first deal, which is really good, by the way. Uh, also, book of virtues makes a lot of active items useful, and it doesn't take over your active slot. It just works with the active items. Meaning that item is way more valuable than starting with hell even D6. Because at least that is just benefiting you. You can use it. You don't need an active item technically. And it makes other active items better. It makes D6 better, for example. It's a really, really, really good item. Now, her unlocks. She has best faith, which... What is that? That makes you so you get... I think it drops soul hearts when you do something. It's like a 17% chance. I remember it's always like, I don't really want it though. It's a trinket. It's not very good. It's kind of good though. Don't, don't listen to everything I say. <laughs> Unlocks Urn of Souls too. I hate Urn of Souls. It sucks. Uh, mostly because of the challenge. Uh, Baptism by Fire, I think it's what it's called. It sucks. Uh, it's a flamethrower, but you use the charges of the enemy to kill them. And then it fills up the flamethrower. Yada, yada. I mean, it's not that great. It's kind of mid. She also unlocks Alabaster's Box, which I never get to use, but it is a good item. Being able to spawn angel items is really, really good. Especially two of them. Blessed Penny. That makes it so you can get soul hearts when you pick up money. A half soul heart, really. Uh, also spawns Soul Locket. Is it weird I say I can't remember what that is, even though we just got it? It gives you a soul heart, though, for sure. <laughs> it gives you a soul heart. Vade Retro sucks. I, I just never pick up Vade Retro. Divine Intervention. It's the shield. It's not very good. It's not very good, but I, I guess it's helped me a couple times. It's okay. Low B tier. Sorry, Bethlehem. I think that's an A tier item. It's not super pog broken, but it is very useful, especially if you need to get to the boss room. Revelation quality four. It's brimstone. I mean, it's brimstone, but angel items. It's really, really good. I know, you know, Trisagon is technically the brimstone of the angel deals, but Revelation is the true brimstone. It's really, really good. Also unlocks Jar Wisp. Don't care about it. It's meh. And then past that, it's just co-op babies. Okay. Well, with her in mind, she's actually really good. I like her. I think she's going to sit... 
think she's going to sit right there. I think she's going to sit right there. Not as good as Isaac. Mostly because D6 is that powerful. It is that powerful. D6 is really a carry because it just rigs your runs. I mean, it's hard to beat Isaac when he has D6. And this will be the last normal character. We're not doing the tainted characters. But unfortunately, this one's really easy to rank. <laughs> Sorry, I have to create a new one. I have to create a new one. Uh, Jacob and Hitbox. So Jacob and Hitbox, we're just going to give him the white tier. I don't know. It's it's their own fucking it's their own category. Oh, hold on. Did I accidentally? Oh, sorry. Poopy dog water. So hold on. Add a row below. I almost messed it up. We don't want to confuse them. So Jacob and Hitbox. So Jacob and Hitbox. We'll give him a different color now. Just give him, I don't know. Give him pink. It's disgusting. Pink. Jacob and Hitbox. You're, that's your that's your tier. That's your tier. Um, but let's actually go over this character because I feel like it's worth mentioning. They're not entirely useless. It's just why? <laughs> why on a lot of the design choices of this? So Jacob and Hitbox. Um, Jacob starts with three hearts. Hitbox starts with a heart and a soul heart. Hitbox has more damage. You know, he has the better stats because he has less HP. The problem is with this character, and it's really that they start with nothing. They start with nothing. They start with nothing. And it's literally impossible, literally impossible to dodge sometimes. Because the game was not designed around two characters dodging, especially off the same controls. It sucks. It just sucks. This character is a mess of, it's, it's a mess of game design problems. They just threw these guys in and did not design anything around them. Hell, even like if you go to the Repentance bosses, they were clearly not even in the thoughts of the people designing that boss because Beast, it's fucking annoying. It's really annoying because sometimes it's hard to fit through the stalactites. Mother, you don't have any space, man. You can't even fit when she's doing like the Undertale attacks, the vom, vom, vom. It's like you can't fucking fit. But like, that's not even the worst of it. The worst of it is motherfuckers like give you this button to control one individually. But then the controls are so convoluted. They're so convoluted. I understand how they work. They're really simple. But basically, it's like you hold control and then you're using their alternate things, which are their, you know, kind of pouch items like cards and stuff or their spacebar items. You hit Q, that uses Esau's spacebar item. You hit Control plus Q, that's using Esau's uh, pouch item. It's stupid, because in the moment when you're fighting things and you're dodging, you gotta pop something. What the fuck? But rant over on Jacob and Esau, at least on that, their unlocks are so good. Which is just a fucking slap in the face. So, let's go first and foremost. Rock bottom. Do I need to say anything? It's rock bottom. It's everybody's favorite. It's the Chungus. It's the Pog. It's really good. It's really, really good. It's what you're always aiming for in a secret room, to be honest. Also unlocks um, Red Stew. Not bad. I like it. You get it from the shop. It's not a bad item to pick up. It's really good situationally. Their way. Do I need to say anything? More angel items. Angel items are really fucking busted in Repentance really fucking good it's really good damocles it's damocles double items uh you might get unlucky with damocles and it might kill you early but for the most part just dodge just dodge and you get double items it's really good it's really really good especially on characters like tainted lost and lost now birthright birthright is probably one of the most important items in the game because it affects every single character uniquely and some of them are really really good and really really important like tainted loss is birthright again tainted loss having a revive is really fucking important on tainted loss and he unlocks that for you i recommend getting birthright at the very minimum which you have to kill blue baby it's not that hard believe me most of the hard characters, well, hard bosses to fight with Jacob and Esau are like Mega Satan, Delirium, Hush, you know, the tough ones. 
Also unlocks Ender Child. Um, it's a revive. It's a pretty good revive too. Can't go too wrong with it. Unlocks Genesis, a really good item, by the way. I feel like it's not mentioned enough. It lets you pick your own items. It's really fucking good. It basically lets you rebuild your build. Also unlocks Vanishing Twin. Some people don't like it. I like it. Doubles the bosses in exchange for double rewards. Really good, in my opinion. And if you're already in a broken build and you can one-shot the bosses, it's just an extra item. I mean, I recommend taking it. Suplex. Uh, Suplex is not a very good item, in my opinion. And really, like, his only, like, really kind of mid-item. It's not that exciting. But it can work, situationally. And there's even a game break, I think, with uh, Mother. And suplexing the ball that she shoots out. And you can get a trap behind her and just kill her. Also unlocks Magic Skin. Magic Skin is a very good item. Um, maybe a little annoying to use sometimes and maybe a little stupid, but it is a good item. You can't deny it. it's an A tier item. Uh, also unlocks Friend Finder. Oh my god, this item. It's not very good, but I at least can see the value from it. It's like a solid C tier item, but it has value. Unlike a lot of C tier items that like only work situationally, this one just has value. It is a space bar, so if you don't have a space bar, it works, but eh. Past that, uh, yeah, they, they, they suck. And it's unfortunate that they suck because they have really good unlocks. I think they're fun to play sometimes, but they're just annoying, man. They're just really fucking annoying. But yeah, let's look at this list again. So we got the GOAT, Azazel, Isaac, Bethany, Judas, Lilith, The Lost, and The Forgotten, which I feel is pretty fair. Then we have Maggie, Kane, which used to be better, by the way. I feel like Maggie and Kane used to be really valuable. Kane more so, because Kane used to be, like, the Pog character of the game. But, yeah, I don't know. They kind of fell off from Repentance. Too many nerves. Too many meta changes. Uh, Lazarus. Eh. Yeah, I think that's fair. He's kind of tough to pick. He's got really good utility, though. Maybe I move him up. Hold on. Move him up. Move him up. Lazarus is really good. Uh, Samson. I think that's fair. Eden. Obviously. He's just a random character. Apollyon. Average as hell. Eve. Sorry, Eve. But you kind of suck, dude. Uh, Poopy Dogwater, rightfully so. And Jacob and Hitbox, who else would fit in there? Well, I think that's pretty good. Well, guys, I think that is a pretty fair tier list, at least what I think of the characters. Now, the tainted characters are a different fucking story. So once we have Dead God complete, I will come back to this with the same list. We will do this and do it with the tainted characters added on. It's going to be interesting because I have some opinions on some of these motherfuckers already and they annoy me, but also some of them are pretty goaded and I disagree with a couple community opinions, especially on a certain someone, this guy, this guy, I don't like him that much. Just a forewarning. I think he kind of sucks. I understand birthright and I understand he can hold 12 items and you know, he's got the double items that he can pick from. Listen, personally, I just don't think he's very good. I think he kind of sucks. But anyways, guys, that was it for today. I hope you guys liked that tier list. I did something a little different today. Uh, we will be continuing our normal Isaac playthrough tomorrow. I just kind of didn't want to do an Isaac playthrough tonight because I just finished like six hours of ultra hard and did not win. I was going loopy, but you should check out the VOD. The VOD is up, and you guys can look at it. It was uh, I was going crazy. I was getting a little salty, too. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.